Everybody and, wel- Everybody and welcome to Favorite Rugby on Favorite Sport and some breaking news. The Stormers have officially confirmed the re-signing of Springbok World Cup winner and former Stormers captain Stephen Kitsov having signed a two-year deal to return to the Cape next season after basically what's been a one-year sabbatical over at Ulster. Uh, before we go into sort of the, 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 see the press release as to uh, as well the situation that, that this is happening, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. So some stories came out earlier this week um, about the fact that Stormers were in talks to potentially um, bring back Stephen Kitsop with him being uh, said to be allowed a, an early exit from this contract at Ulster uh, with Ulster really looking to rebuild their squad and, um, you know, Stephen Kitsop being a marquee player on a big contract uh, who's had a bit of an underwhelming season at Ulster being apparently a clear player which they wouldn't mind sort of moving on to try and free up some wages and uh, to sort of be able to allocate that towards the Ulster rebuild. Um, they have had a big uh, sort of shuffle, you know, they had a see early, they had a coach leave, so lots of changes at Ulster and uh, very much wanting to press the reset button. Enter the Stormers, who are currently in the middle of a lucid crisis and, um, you know, just one season on from losing him, have, have needed him more than ever. And he has officially signed a new contract and will be there, well, for the next two seasons. Uh, so let's get into the press release. Um, he has played 134 games for the Stormers. And uh, this is what John Dobson had to say. The DHL Stormers director of rugby, by the way, John Dobson, having adopted a bigger role within the union, saying, Stephen is a DHL Stormers great and adds so much to our environment beyond his immense value on the pitch. We are really encouraged that he is keen to come back and get stuck in. So we are, as we start an exciting new chapter here in Cape Town, that being the new chapter under the sort of the Red Dicer uh, organization, the new sort of conglomerate that's taken over the Stormers. Uh, he said that uh, we always wanted to get him back, and I am just thrilled with the backing of our new owners. We have been able to make that so que- make that happen so quickly. He is a pro of our system, and we can't wait to see him in blue and white again next season. Um, he it's, it reads, having left at the end of the season to join us, the opportunity to kick off to return home following the recent investment from the Red Dice Consortium in the Seattle Stormers was too good to pass up. Uh, he said that he's grateful to return to Stormers, um, where he hopes to see us his career. Uh, he says, it is no secret that Cape Town and the DHL Stormers mean uh, what Cape Town and the DHL Stormers mean to me. So to be able to return home is incredibly exciting. I'd like to thank Alston for a fantastic experience at Belfast and your understanding through this whole process. We still have a lot to do together. From next season, I will do all I can to add value to the Stormers and hope you'll be part of something special once again with my friends and family alongside me. Um, I actually heard apparently that he, when he went over to Belfast, he's done so without his family. And uh, so, you know, not an ideal situation and um, probably feeling quite homesick and struggling a little bit over in Ireland. So I think it was a win-win situation for all the parties. Stormers desperately need a loose head. You know, they did sign Lizzo, uh, Koboka, as Di Satori, but both quality props, but a struggle to stay fit this season. Um, Ulster have not had the best team kids off. We're going to be brutally honest. He's not really sort of lit up uh, that uh, the stage in that Ulster pack, which is a struggling team. But he hasn't really managed to sort of settle there. Um, so, again, you know, I think it's one of those things where Stormers could use him. I don't think he was getting, they'll start getting the best out of him. Ulster could really do with the extra funds. I mean, they need to rebuild an entire squad. I mean, look at him, need to look at number 10, for example. Lots of different positions that need um, filling over there at Ulster. So, for, I mean, you have a perfect deal which just suits Stephen Kitsop. It suits the Stormers and it suits um, Ulster. Really good to see, though, that um, already with the investment from the Red Dice Consortium, we are seeing the Stormers uh, put their money where their mouths are and uh, going and getting something like Stephen Kitsop is a big side of intent uh, in terms of, first of all, going and getting players back and, and, and be able to bring your current spring marks and marquee players to the union, but also hope that signs of intention in terms of being able to hold on to players. You have somebody like a Damien Vinimsa, a, a Marty Leibach, you know, players who will be definitely be getting big offers from, from overseas. You know, I think somebody like a, uh, obviously, Sasha Feynman Gomezulu, I think is somebody who is he's probably currently pondering his future and, and, and what's going to happen. But, you know, at least they know that they now currently have the financial backing to be able to hand these players contracts and make it worth their while to stay down in the Cape. Let me know what you think about the sign down in the comments below. Please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.